Greetings and welcome to a just a little review video um, and a bit of an unboxing of this portable monitor that I found on Amazon. Um, I've been looking for a second monitor for the setup. And if you haven't seen the setup yet, I suggest you go back. If you're interested, check out what it looks like right now. So first off, this is by a company called New Soul, who I found on Amazon. It's a 15.6 1080p FHD and HDR monitor. Let's go ahead and uh, get to opening it up though. Pop this bad boy open. Give it the good old wiggle. <laughs> okay, so far, let's see the top of the box right here. Make sure we get that in frame. So far so good, looks pretty nice. I mean, this is like the type of packaging that I expect to see on a pretty, you know, high quality product, you know, medium to high quality. We'll hold our uh, expectations a little bit. This was $169.99 on Amazon. So, you know, it's not a, a budget breaker when it comes to other monitors. This is going to be the monitor itself right here, taking it out. Not that much padding. It looks like, I'm gonna put this down for a second. The inside definitely has a little bit of foam, right, to protect the face of the monitor. It was facing this way, so let's see if this is up. I don't promise to do a great job of unboxing this. So it was, oh, it's in a little case. Okay, wow. Would you look at that? So that's kind of cool. I didn't expect that at all. Obviously, I didn't do any homework on this. I kind of wanted to do a blind, let's just see what we're working with here. On the back, we do see a USB-C. Um, looks like two USB-Cs. One of those might be for, oh, no, that's an audio jack right there. I'm not sure what that's for. I won't quote to know what it is. Um, we'll do a little bit of research and see what it is. I'll put it up on the screen, hopefully. And then we have an HDMI port right there. Make sure you guys can see that. That's what the IO is looking like on that side. On the other side, looks like we have a, and uh, all the controls for the display. See what's inside, we have a warranty card. That's good news, right? Always nice to have a warranty in case something's not working. Um, new soul, what else do you make? Noise canceling gaming headset, interesting. Okay, so it looks like they have gaming peripherals and USB hub, so Amazon smart speaker. Okay, looks like they make a range of different things. We'll put that over there. Um, USB-C to USB-C. Nice cord to have either way. We have the HDMI. Now I'm wondering, I see I didn't do any research on this, so forgive me, I'll try and give you guys as much of a more than educated guess as possible because we're gonna do this together, but um, the USB-C, I'm wondering if, if we can power the display just with this and get a display out with that. So we will have to double check that. And then right here we have a USB to a USB-C. Honestly, for 169, is that what I said it was? 169, that's quite an array of, of cords. Well, that's, that's like everything under the sun that you'd need for this thing it seems. Put that down on the floor because that is where it's supposed to go. Outside feel of it, feels sturdy, doesn't feel, yeah, I mean, let's put this next to the mic. Nice little, I'm assuming, fake leather. Okay, opening it up. Oh, we get a screen protector with this too. This is pretty fancy. Okay, so it comes with a screen protector I don't know much that actually gets something like that, so that's pretty cool. And then, whoa, 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 okay. I'm gonna put this to the side for you guys. I was expecting this kind of just to come up and off, but look at this. It actually pivots there, and I'm assuming this is how it does the whole, oh, yep, yeah, we'll get to that later, but I did just see something that was a requirement. Oh, this comes off. This is magnetic? It is, it is magnetic. Look at that. We're just out here learning things together. Oh, look, and it even comes with a nice little ring right there. So you can hook it up to, you know, where you keep your keys and, you know, walk around like that uh, if you ever need a second monitor 
while you're leaving your home. Works just like that. Look at, and we can put it all the way forward if we want it to be, you know, looking up at us a little bit more. I don't know which way I want it oriented. And to be quite frank, I did see that there are indeed VESA mount on the back. So this thing might be getting a little sideways action. We'll have to see which orientation I actually preferred. And, and that is if it does pass our little test, looks like you'd have it in many different orientations. There are two grooves, if you can see that right now, there are two grooves. Currently I have it set in the further back position, but these two grooves are where you, air quotes, can put the monitor to rest, but it seems like this stuff is actually pretty tacky. I would be surprised if it slipped out along any point, maybe the furthest one even, let's see. Yeah, I'd be surprised if it slipped out at all. It seems pretty uh, tactile. Nice material. I, uh, overall, I'm actually impressed with this uh, case that it came with. The only thing I can say is, is I was bamboozled that it was upside down. I didn't really get the whole, this is the bottom and that's where it's going. But you know, that's why people read the instructions and we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> so I'm not going to put on the uh, complimentary screen protector. I'll do that off camera if this uh, all goes well, but I am gonna put this box over here out of the way. See you later, forget about it. You may have a little bit extra glare too. You can see there's tape on the sides. There is an actual you know, little plastic protector over the front. Um, I'm guessing that's to keep dust off in transit. Uh, before you put the uh, complimentary screen protector on it. So you can see right here, Cable, pretty thick. I like that. Would you look at that? We have a working display. I can't see any dead pixels on it. I know it's probably really bright for you guys. Let's go ahead and turn down the studio lighting. <laughs> Everything's with air quotes. I'm so sorry. It's it's just that I have a little ring light, not studio lighting. Um, let's go ahead and turn that down all the way from where I'm sitting, uh, approximately, you know, arm's length away from this screen right now. You can't see pixels and the resolution looks nice. For the most part, from what I can see, it's working. There's no dead pixels. I quite enjoy the little stand that it came with. I think this thing's actually pretty cheeky. For $169, I'm pretty darn impressed. Now, I know a lot of people may be looking at this thing with the idea that they'll use it for, you know, PS4, PS5, Xbox, console gaming. We'll check it out in a little while, check out how the speakers work, because I am curious to hear these speakers. And then uh, we'll wrap up the video with it actually set up at the desk. Okay, so you find me currently at the desk setup. Once again, reference the last video if you'd like to see how this all came together. Hello, that's my right hand. Um, mirrored for you guys probably, I don't know. Um, off to the right hand side of me, I have the monitor in question, what we're testing right now. This isn't gonna be its final resting place, but this will be its final testing place because I'm not gonna get this set up until I am sure that I am satisfied with it. Now, I haven't messed around with any of the buttons, but I did find out something kind of funny. You can't put it on its side with its um, own proprietary little you know, stand that it comes with, because if you put it on its side, you're either gonna cover up the buttons on the left, or you have your IO on the right, which is gonna have all of your HDMI connections to whatever you're playing on or viewing on. So that's not an option unless you're using VESA. I don't find that a huge issue because the whole goal for me was to have something small out of the way that may in fact use a base amount down the road. And I figure most people who are using this for, you know, if you're using this to play on like a PS4, if you're using this on a laptop, you're probably going to have this on your desk somewhere. It's going to travel with you for work. So not a huge issue in my personal opinion. Now the size from this far, I am now about four feet away from the monitor. It is looking a little bit small, um, but that is to be expected with the 15.6 inch monitor. As far as clarity goes, 1080p from this distance looks stunning. You know, it looks 
totally fine. I'm gonna pull up, you know, Google right here, throw it down on here. You can see it in the lower right corner. It looks clear and sharp. I don't sense too much input lag, which is definitely an up since my left hand monitor is running at 144 hertz, one millisecond response time. Okay, so you can get an idea. The quality is mildly what you'd expect from something like this. I don't think the reason to have this monitor would be because it has a speaker explicitly because let's be real, most people using this are gonna have a different audio source than that. For the most part, my initial review is that I am impressed with what it came with. There are no dead pixels and I'm gonna use this for a little while and down the road, if you guys are curious, leave a comment down below if you wanna see an update when I do the vase amount, if it's still used as my secondary monitor. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time, Hardboiled Club. Peace.